everyone, it's me, Excanadensis, and today I'm finally going to be unboxing and reviewing my Too Dreamy Fail Fix doll. I believe I got her at the end of July. The reason that I've waited so long to open her is just because I kept having other video ideas and other things come up, so she kind of got pushed to the side, and I decided today's the day. I really have been super interested in her. I think she's a beautiful doll, and I love Fail Fix, and this is actually the last Fail Fix character that I need to have, like, one of each character, so... I'm very excited to meet her and see how she looks. I've seen um, photos of her online and I think she's very pretty. I managed to get her for $8, which I consider to be a steal, and she comes with extra outfits, so she's gonna be a lot of fun for me. And I also love that she actually has a robe instead of just that plastic robe that they put over the others. And yeah, there's no real mystery to her. She's all two dreamy dolls look the same, but still. I'm very excited about her, so let's get started. I will be right back. I'm just gonna cut her out of the she box. She is out of the box. She came with a ton of accessories that I was not expecting. There were some even in like hidden behind tabs in her box, so this is going to be an interesting review. I wasn't expecting that many accessories. Um, first, let's get her mask off to see. Oh, she has such a pretty face. I seriously love the faces on these dolls. They have such pretty eyes and pretty makeup and pretty face molds. They're so nice. Okay, so now we have to get her jewelry out. So she has these hoop earrings with little rainbows on them to get them out of the hair. And then she has this necklace with a rainbow. These are really cute little accessories. And then we have, oh, two pairs of shoes. So we have these like wedge tennis shoes, like Converse in purple. And then we also have these white angel shoes, I'm gonna call them, because they have cute little winged hearts on them. Let me get the focus better for y'all so you can see it. Look at that, that's so pretty. I dropped, the things that fell were the uh, cardboard things, by the way. All right, let me set the shoes down since they're all out of the box. And then this is her little robe. I really like it. It's very, um, everything's printed on. You know, it's not actually a robe. It's just kind of a dress, but it's just meant to be a goofy little robe. It's not meant to be like a whole thing. Although I love doll robes, so I would have loved if it was actually a robe, but I understand. It's okay. Look how pretty she is. We are going to be going upstairs in just warm water, soaking her hair, because I feel like it's just gonna be so much faster than dealing with all this mess. I am not putting up with this. All right, so now we need to look at the instructions to see what all of the things that she comes with do, like what they do. And I'm gonna put everything up there in the dollhouse so you guys can see it up close. So I will be right back. It is all out of her box with all of her accessories. She does come with an impressive amount of accessories, but the box is like, comes with 25 plus accessories and then most of them are rubber bands, which is fine. <laughs> she is beautiful. I, my favorite thing is this stand. So it's a stand like normal, but it has this base with a chair attachment and the chair holds her really well so you can work with the hair without her, you know, flying off like dolls like to do. But she also has this suction cup at the bottom of her stand so you can like really have her stuck down when you're trying to work on her. I really, really appreciate this detail. That was so thoughtful of them and it it would make doing her hair so much easier. I'm not gonna do it just because I feel like these will bleed and ruin my other dolls at some point, um, but she comes with blue and pink hair gel stuff to like dye her hair. I'm not sure, it says doll hair dye, so like I really don't want this anywhere near my dolls because it probably in the long term would stain them and destroy them. I really, really love this though. I'm really impressed by it. And then of course you get her original failed face and the little mask. These are those jewelry pieces that I showed you earlier. So she has two earrings that are hoops with little rainbows and then a rainbow necklace. She has a bunch of rubber bands, two of each color for doing hairstyles with. I wonder if these are better, like, do you think these don't dry rot? Because that would be great. If so, then I approve of them being included. She also has this comb. I actually really like this comb in terms of like holding it in your hand. It's really comfortable. Um, and all of her plastic accessories have this like blue color but with pink tinges in it but most of the time it just looks like there was a mistake of some sort like this it doesn't look intentional at all here are his shoes up close i really love the little angel shoes i wish they had some kind of painted detail on them but i don't mind i think they're really beautiful she has these things that are meant to go into her hair i think in the braid you just twist them in i'm not a hundred percent sure though um but i left them in here so they wouldn't fly everywhere until i'm ready for them and then she has two extra outfits. So she has this uh, t-shirt suspender short combo. It's not a high quality material and it's only one piece, unfortunately, but it is cute. I'm probably not gonna have her wear this though, but it's okay. 
And then this is a really nice piece. Actually, the quality is all there. I just need to snip that thread to make it like really pop. And this is the final outfit I'm going to be putting the doll in. It's so pretty. And it's really nice quality too. Like it feels super soft and nice. And I love the colors that they picked. I'm really excited to see what this looks like on the doll. And then she also comes with this thing. And I was like, what is this? And the diagram kind of helps. This is a braid tool. So apparently it's going to make it super easy to braid her hair. I'm really intrigued by this because I'm really bad at braiding hair. I mean, I can braid, but it never turns out even. So if this actually works, this might actually be an indispensable tool for me. I will show you how it works when we get there. But first we need to go upstairs and soak her hair and get all this nasty hair gel out. So I will see you upstairs. So I normally would wash out my Fail Fix doll's hair by just running it under cold water in the sink, maybe slightly warm water and using dish soap. But leaving the doll to soak and then doing what I just described and then soaking her again and continuing to do that makes it turn out so much softer and you don't get any residual gel you get no smell you just get this really soft silky hair it's amazing so i highly recommend you don't have to boil wash it necessarily i was just already doing boil washes anyway so i did it but yeah do this soak the, the hair. hair all washed i just need to wait for it to dry um i don't think it's going to take too long to be honest but i have to go to work anyway so it It'll be a good, like, eight hours before we see the final result of how our hair looks. I'm really excited about it, though. Instead of washing the hair with soap first, soaking it in really hot water and then washing it out with soap makes it go so much faster. That clip was only a minute, and then right after that clip, I went through with dish soap just to make sure I got all the gel out. And there's no smell in her hair from chemicals or anything, so she is all set. I'm going to set her down in front of my dehumidifier and she is going to get fully dried. I will see you right, when she's So done. it's been a while since I washed her hair. I ended up doing the Bratz video yesterday instead of this one and this is quite possibly the softest doll hair I have ever felt. I am in love with it. My other Fail Fix dolls I didn't wash as thoroughly as this one so they probably have this similar amazing hair fiber but oh my god. This doll is worth it for just the doll alone, not even all the accessories. She's amazing. I don't know if you can still get her on clearance online, but if you can, I highly recommend her. And I haven't even started playing with anything related to the playset yet. If you like the Fail Fix dolls at all, this stand and this doll's hair are 100% worth it. Uh, one thing I noticed as well when I was going to dress her in her main dress was that she comes with this slip dress, which I actually really like it as its own piece, but I think it's because this is slightly see-through. Um, maybe they noticed it a little bit too late and were trying to cover it up, but regardless, I think that's honestly really cool that they did that instead of just letting the dress be overly see-through. Um, it just shows their attention to detail and how much they actually cared. She also comes with this robe, which it's just like, it is actually fabric that you can get wet and wash pretty easily, but it's just one piece with no, like, actual details. It's all just printed on, but I still appreciate it over the plastic robes that the other ones come with. And I have her jewelry on her now. My one criticism so far is that the jewelry has this extremely vibrant rainbow, while this is more of almost like a dull rainbow, which I love. This is a really interesting color scheme that you don't really see in the doll world a lot, so I wish that they had used that on the jewelry as well, because the jewelry actually clashes with the rainbow that's used. I love the shoes as well. They're so nice. I haven't tried these ones on yet. That's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to show you this outfit, but I have a feeling I'm not going to really care for this outfit. Um, and I'm not going to be dyeing her hair, as I said. I just, I actually want this doll to be in my collection for a long time, and I don't want her hair to stain anything else, but I've seen online that it works pretty well and that it looks very pretty. You can watch other reviews for that if you're interested. I am well over a year after this doll's release, so I think, um, I don't think it's too big of a deal if I don't show you that. I'm seriously in love with her. I was pretty much not going to get her until I happened to find her for, what was it, like $8? I, it was just too good of a deal to pass up, and I'm so glad that I ended up finding her and getting her. She was, she's honestly worth her retail price. She's incredible. All right, so now I'm going to dress her in her full dress real quick and show you how that looks on her, and then after that, I'm going to dress her in this one and braid her hair, so I will see you then. Alrighty, guys, here is Too Dreamy in the complete dress look. I really love this dress, but again, I think it's much nicer if you remove the earrings and stuff. And then, um, these actually don't include any purple or any of the colors 
Because even the pink is different from the other outfits. So I think these are great to add to your, like, fail fix um, accessories, I guess. Or even to use for other dolls. But for this doll, I think they are best left out. Here she is in the dress. I really like it. It's actually not overly see-through. But the, the little dress underneath gives you the option to give her, like, a little modesty, modesty panel there. Which I think is pretty cute. And I can't get over her hair, y'all. I'm sorry. But look how detailed and incredible the dress is all the way around. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. This is definitely one of my favorite doll um, dresses of all time. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it on her, though, because I feel like her makeup doesn't match with it either. But this is a difficult color scheme to match with. Um, she looks amazing, though. Look at her. All right. I can't get over the eyes. I'm sorry. I love the way the eyes follow you. It's so pretty. Alrighty, I am going to change her into the suspender outfit and then figure out the braid situation. I'm going to read the instructions so that I can actually show it to you instead of struggling on camera. I'll be right back. Last look on the doll. And honestly, I expected to hate this outfit, but I kind of really like it. I think this situation is actually really cute. It looks really nice on her. I think it matches her colors well. Um, the purple shoes are a bit of a misstep, but they are cute, and it is realistic that someone would wear a really colorful outfit like this, especially someone who has this sort of rainbow aesthetic. Um, I do think that this outfit really needs her hair to be colored to fully work. Um, I'm not sure, though, because the blue and pink hair color that it comes with don't seem like they would complement it well. Um, so I'm gonna brush through her hair. I'm using my, uh, metal doll hairbrush, but this works too. Alright y'all, so I am notoriously bad at doing French braids, and this is actually a French braid tool, which I wasn't expecting. I just thought it was gonna help me make, like, an even braid. So I'm really excited about this. I went through the instructions. I haven't actually tried it yet, but I went through and made sure I understood it pretty well. So, here we go. It says, just grab two even-ish pieces. God, I really want a chair like this for every single doll that I own now. And then you put the hair through. And this one's a little uneven. Hold on. Brush through it. All right. I love this, too, because it's going to keep the braid perfectly centered on the back of her head. Um, but you could twist the chair if you wanted to, if you wanted to do, like, a side braid or something. Uh, so that's going to be really... This is going to be so nifty, but... I don't think any other dolls other than Failfix are going to fit in the chair, so I'll have to make, like, some kind of altered version of this so I can use it for my Rainbow High dolls, because they're my favorite dolls to style the hair of. I was going to leave this in real time and talk through it, but I immediately discovered that this took a little bit more time than I expected, but it only took five minutes, and for me, doing doll hair, even a simple, like, braid on the back of the head would take forever just because I constantly mess up and I can't keep them even and I'll get a ton of flyaways this negated that problem and as you can see especially at the beginning I was doing a pretty good job my one thing I need to say here though is that when you do your first strands or whatever strands are framing the face make sure you pull them tight pull them extremely tight otherwise you're going to get kind of a bubbling effect and it's not going to be like a nice french braid on her back instead it's going to kind of poof up a little bit it's not a big deal but you know, I definitely could have been more careful. Uh, I feel like this is the result that a kid would probably get. A kid that wasn't being super careful or meticulous with it, like I wasn't being. Sorry about my hair getting in the way, by the way. Um, I'm really excited about this, though, because I've never been able to style doll hair on camera very effectively. And this tool, not necessarily the braiding tool, but the chair stand thing with the suction cup at the bottom is going to make it so much easier to do so. I want to buy another one of these sets and alter the chair to be able to fit Barbies and Rainbow High dolls, because I think if I heated it up enough, I could possibly do that. I'm not sure, but look at this. All right, the clip's about to end. I just end up, um, you know, putting a elastic on it, which this set comes with plenty of nice elastics and fun colors. Okay, so I'm so in shock right now. I can do a fishtail braid. I've done it before, but I'm not super good at it, and I've never been able to do it on the entire doll's head like this. And even trying to do pigtails of it on a normal-sized doll head really doesn't work for me. I can only do it, like, on small scale. I am in shock at how easy, quick, and, like, nicely this went. I I definitely could get it a little bit less lumpy, especially if I pulled a little bit harder at the beginning. That's... It told me to start here, and I didn't listen, and I started in the front instead. And if you start in the front, I think you just need to pull tighter here. But look how nice that looks. Oh my gosh, and I can't even imagine how good it would look um, if you actually did the colors in her hair. I'm kind of tempted to buy another one to do the colors in her hair and then just keep her somewhere special so that she can't 
um, stain any other dolls because that's my biggest um, worry is that over time it could stain her or other dolls. But yeah, I am really impressed. Even if you're not into Failfix or you're not into this doll specifically, I highly recommend buying this set just for this. You can sell everything else. Just like this is an indispensable tool and I'm really excited about being able to use this on other dolls. I don't think my Rainbow High dolls will fit, which is a shame because I'd really like them to, but I think Bratz would actually fit. Yeah, totally. I could totally get her in here. Um... Look at that. Oh my gosh. So now I can do really perfect fishtail braids on Bratz dolls too. So that's at least good to know is that Bratz dolls fit in here really well. And even if you don't want to use the fishtailer, it's really nice to have like a sturdy suction cup chair when you're styling your doll's hair. Because that's my biggest problem when I'm trying to style doll hair is that they won't stay still and I have to hold them between my thighs. And then if they move at all, the hairstyle gets ruined. Um, so this is actually a really remarkable tool. It definitely is not going to fit Barbie's Rainbow High or any of those other um, size dolls. I don't even think LOL OMG would fit, but Monster High Bratz and Fail Fix seem like they'd fit pretty well. Um, and this is a 10 out of 10 set for me, honestly. I don't remember how much it re retailed for, but if it was around $30, I think that's a little much, but at around $25 to even like $20, this set is incredible. This is such a good deal, and this is such a fun set, and I haven't even gotten into all the accessories. Let's see how these work. I'm thinking you just twist them into the hair, but I honestly haven't tried it yet. Yep. And then you get cute little hair gems. I'm probably not going to use them on her, but I'm definitely going to use them for some doll in my collection. So I'm very, very excited about this. Um, and I think this is a good spot to end the video. So with that, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And please let me know what you think of her. And um, if you guys already had her, uh, let me know which outfit you like the best and why. And if you've done her hair, have you had any trouble with this stuff bleeding anywhere? Or is it actually like decent dye? I'm not going to use it on my main doll, but I might buy another one to use it on. Um, that's it for all this time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!